In this video clip, we will talk about definition of function. Before we do that, we want to see a few examples. The first one is about a free falling object. We know an object is falling from the sky at a given time t, the object will be at a certain height. Uh, so for the given time, one object one object cannot be in two different heights. Uh, so for each given t, the height h is unique. Means not more than one corresponding to a given time. Huh. That's the point. Now, the second example is about temperature in July 2000. 16 in Reno, Nevada. Uh, on page 16, you will see the records uh, for the uh, temperature. Uh, now, probably we can uh, go to the page, mm, page 14. Huh? Page 14. Okay. Now let's move down to page 14, right here. Ah. You see down here, uh, for a given date, for example, July 1st. The higher temperature was 99 Fahrenheit. Uh, so that means for a given date, the highest temperature is fixed, is a unique value. Uh, at a given date, they cannot be uh, the case that they are two highest temperature. Uh, so the highest temperature is one number for a given date. So that means for the given date, the temperature, the highest temperature is unique. Uh, of course, there is a possibility that there is another date, uh, the temperature might be also uh, 99 Fahrenheit, but that's fine. Huh. The problem, the things is that for a given date, you want to have uh, the unique highest temperature corresponding to that uh, date. Okay, so, okay, now this is the second example. Now let's see the third one. Uh, the third one is about social security number. Uh, social security number. We know everyone in United States, uh, every citizen in United States, uh, there is a social security number. Uh, will be signed uh, for uh, each person, each person, huh? there is a unique social security number, uh, a social security number corresponding to that person. Uh, so then person goes to number. 
okay? And for each person, the social security number again is unique. It's unique, huh? Uh, for one person, they can. This person cannot have a uh, two social security numbers, huh? So that means for each person there is unique one, huh? Not more than one social security number. All those three examples has such a property that. For each element, there is another element which corresponding to the given element. And then in this case, we say uh, it gives us a hint to we probably need to do something. And that's why, you know, here we say we want to introduce the concept of function. Okay, now here is the formal definition. Huh. For given two no empty sets, A, B, no empty, huh. then if for each element, for each element, X in set A, there is a unique, there is a unique, means what? Not more than one, huh? means not more than one, that means unique, okay? There is a unique element, Y, a unique element Y in set B, uh, in a different set, in set B. Okay, corresponding to the given x, corresponding to the given x. So, then in this case, we say uh, such a correspondence, such a correspondence relationship, uh, relation, is called the function from where, from set A to B, okay? So function has a direction, remember that. Uh, that's from A to B, so it goes in this way. And then it is denoted, uh, it is denoted, let me move this up so you can see. Uh, so it is denoted by this okay y equals f of x x is in a uh, x is in a so that's a starting set okay there is a each for each x in a starting set you got a unique element this is unique if they are two, if there were two then you cannot Right in this way. That's not a function. Huh? Because since there is only one, once you put x here through this function, you will find the value y, which is in set B. Huh? That will be the correspondence will be called the function. Huh? And here we have a name for x is called the independent variable. Huh. So, and then we have a, another name for y, uh, which will be called dependent. Uh, in the next page, you will see dependent. dependent variable for y. Huh. And then here, all the possible values, uh, all the possible x will uh, form a range, and 
then we say all the possible values, uh, the set of all possible values will be called the domain of the function. Uh, the corresponding set for y will be called range. Uh, that's in the following, uh, right here. Okay. So, dependent variable is for y. Uh, and then all the possible, uh, the set of all possible values for y will be called range. All right. Okay. Please review this lecture. I'll give you more, more details next time.